Hi, I'm Madeline Spear, your host of Inside VLA. Today on Inside VLA, we are going to be interviewing John Safel, the director of this production. Come on, let's go. Welcome, John Safel, to VLA. Thank you. What are some reasons why Agatha Christie's mousetrap is so great that it has been around for over half a century? I think one of the things I really, really enjoy about Mousetrap is Agatha Christie gives us these characters who, uh, on one hand, feel a bit like stock characters. You know, we can instantly relate to them. We understand, oh, it's that character that we've sort of seen before in Mysteries and that one. And yet, the more time we spend with them, the more we realize that they're not that two-dimensional. Suddenly, there's all of this room for an actor to really, really play with. So we start off in something that feels very familiar. But before we can get too comfortable, it really starts to dig in and we experience a whole new world with it. And so I think that, uh, you know, over, over the decades now, people have been able to come back to it over and over again. And each production, um, without going outlandish, just by really digging into the characters that she's created, uh, has been able, been able to find something new and exciting, something for each new audience to really hold on to. Because the show is a mystery, how are the characters staging different to maintain the secrecy until the big reveal? <laughs> um, so this is, this is the archetypal mystery play, right? Um, and sh I, I think Agatha Christie does such an amazing job of not just giving us a red herring, but that every single character is a red herring in a way. Uh, every single character that we meet has moments where we are positive that we care deeply about them and we don't want them to be the murderer. And other moments where we're positive that we're wrong and clearly they're the guilty one. And um, uh, from sort of the lines they give to, to what Agatha Christie sort of suggests um, uh, through the action in terms of how much someone would uh, I either um, uh, could sort of approach other characters or stand apart from or be aloof or be vulnerable. All of these things that keep happening throughout the play uh, really affects how we feel about each character and keeps us slightly off balance and not knowing who we can settle with and who we can trust. And finally, what about this play intrigues you to the point where you would want to direct it? <laughs> I, I love that while this is sort of the mystery, it also plays against some of the standard mystery tropes, right? We have this idea that uh, it, it's occurring during a dark and stormy night, except unlike every other mystery since the dawn of time, it's not a stormy thunderstorm sort of night, it's a snowy night. And everything that that does, normally we have uh, rain washing things away and it's all about lots of death and that sort of thing and this isn't this is about rain washing things away and it's all about lots of death and that sort of thing and this isn't this is about snow it's about covering things up and the more we get into the play the more layers we realize and the more secrets that we sort of feel are hidden right beneath the surface and that ability to to spend an hour and a half to two hours with these characters and uh, just keep peeling away and finding all these little secrets and realizing what's really going on beneath the surface. Um, I know as, as an audience member, that just sucks me in. And so as a director to be able to work with the actors and to try to create that experience for an audience, um, I just can't imagine something more fun to do than that. Thank you. Thank you. That's a wrap. Hope to see you at Mousetrap.